The investigators uncovered new information about a troubled teen and a terrified grandmother that led to a family tragedy. Good evening, I'm Stephen Clark. And I'm Diana Lewis. Friends and family paid their final respects to 17-year-old Jonathan Hoffman today at the Ira Kaufman Chapel in Southfield. Jonathan was shot and killed at his grandparents' West Bloomfield home. His 74-year-old grandmother accused of pulling the trigger. And tonight, 7 Action News investigator Scott Lewis has uncovered disturbing information on what may have led up to this family tragedy. Good evening, Scott. What can you tell us? Uh, Diana, that's the big question everybody has. Why would a grandmother murder her teenage ki uh, grandson, as prosecutors have alleged here? Well, I've learned there was tension in the house over the teen's drug use, that the court had labeled him a threat, and something happened on the day of the killing that might have triggered this violence. The shot went right over my head, hit a branch, and uh, I didn't know what was going on, so I called uh, my neighbor next door, and uh, the kid answered the phone. And he said he, he got shot. Neighbor Gary Berger says there was a lot of trouble between this 74-year-old grandmother of nine, Sandra Lane, and Jonathan Hoffman, the 17-year-old grandson she's accused of murdering. Berger says there were frequent arguments in the home. He says Lane is a terrific lady who he's known since high school, and he's troubled by the fatal shooting. Do you think she might have been in fear of her life? My estimation? Probably so. I just think it was, um, he really provoked her in many, many ways. According to these court records, someone had reason to fear Jonathan Hoffman. When Hoffman was convicted of marijuana possession back in March, his order of probation said the defendant represents a credible threat to the physical safety of one or more persons, but did not name the people in danger. 7 Action News has learned the 17-year-old was hit with a probation violation on the very day of the shooting after testing positive for the drug known as K2 Spice. And the grandmother's attorney says there was an argument before the gunfire broke out. We found also from court records that he violated his probation on the very day of the, of the murder. By testing positive for the spice you found there? Yeah. Well, you guys are good. <laughs> Could that be part of what happened? Well, that might be part of what his attitude was at the time that there was a, you know, a confrontation inside the house. While court records don't specify who the teenager posed a threat to, Sabota said it was the 74-year-old grandmother and her 84-year-old husband. Reporting live from Pontiac, Scott Lewis, 7 Action News. Stephen, back to you. Yeah, Scott, her attorney describes that grandmother as fa uh, frail and fearful. Do you think he is telegraphing what kind of defense he may be mounting for her if it comes to that? He's not coming right out and saying self-defense, but he says she was in fear, and she was in fear when she bought the gun. The woman is charged with open murder, which means a jury would decide what degree of murder, if any, she's guilty of. So I think he will use fear as a mitigating factor, if nothing else. All right, Scott Lewis, as always, thank you for the live report.